few years ago when I was working as a doctor in a government hospital, we used to have 24 hours of long duties. And in this 24 hours of duty, we cannot sleep at all. We have to stay up whole night, see the patients. And it was very tiresome. Uh, these kind of duties continued for uh, two, three weeks. And after one such uh, duty, one such 24 hours of duty, I was just going back home. I played a romantic, regular romantic song in my car. And I started to cry. My eyes became wet. I was very shocked at why this kind of reaction. I have never cried before on this particular song and why I am crying today. Then I researched a little bit about it and I came across an interesting study which showed that only one sleepless night can make you emotionally fragile. And I am going to cover this study in this video. Watch till the end. For decades, researchers used to think that sleep loss is actually a byproduct of other mental illnesses such as depression and anxiety. That means first came depression and anxiety and because of that you cannot sleep at night. Now the latest study shows that it is actually reverse. Because of sleepless nights, you get into depression and anxiety. In fact, sleep loss, anxiety and depression can form a downward spiral. They feed into each other and because you have anxiety and depression, you do not get enough sleep at night and just because you are sleep deprived, you have more severe form of anxiety and depression. So what happens in our brain? Why we have such kind of emotional reaction when we have sleep deprivation? So now the scientists know that there is a particular area in the brain called amygdala. So whenever we face a nerve wracking or emotionally intense challenge, our amygdala comes into picture. Amygdala can trigger whole body flight and fright response. That means there will be increase in heart rate. It sends out wave of stress hormones rushing into our bloodstreams. But luckily we have prefrontal cortex in the brain as well. So this part of the brain actually reduces the action of amygdala and therefore keeps our emotional reaction in control. But in the individuals with sleep deprivation, the activity in the prefrontal cortex reduces drastically and therefore its impact on the amygdala also reduces. And the shocking thing is that this kind of neural impairment that happens in the brain can happen only after one night of sleep deprivation. So in one experiment, the participants were shown two kind of pictures. One is an emotional photograph and other is a neutral photograph. And their reaction was recorded. So it was very obvious that after seeing the emotional photograph, they had an emotional reaction and after seeing a neutral photograph, they did not react at all. But they were then made to stay awake whole night. And then next day again the same kind of photographs were shown to them and strangely the individuals reacted similarly to the both neutral as well as emotional photographs. That means they had emotional reaction even to the neutral photograph just after one night of sleep deprivation. So this means that the threshold at which we show emotional reaction has reduced in these individuals. So maybe that was the reason for me crying in the car listening to a romantic song after 24 hours of a sleepless night. So to conclude, our brain is a very delicate structure and it needs complete rest. And only one sleepless night can have a very negative impact on our brain's emotional reaction. So what about the individuals who are not sleeping properly on daily basis? You need to check your choices. While it's 10 p.m., I'm going to sleep. Good night.